right, all right, all right. I am in Agia Varvara. Agia Varvara is a village. It is located up in the mountain, uh, about 25 to 30 kilometers away uh, from Heraklion. Uh, like if you were taking the street to the south of uh, Heraklion, going to Matala uh, or places like this, then now they have built a new highway that you can take but this was the old way that people used to go this is a place that i wanted to show you from a long time today the day has come There are three things that I am thinking about when I am, whenever I am passing through this village. One, uh, the life of those who are living in the buildings uh, just next to the street, that could be really terrible because of the noise. Now it's better because the uh, main highway is open. Secondly, the safety of the kids, like those who are walking. Right now I am walking. Uh, just next on the street and there is not uh, there is nothing like a place that you can walk on it is like literally street and houses and doors so there is not like a path that you can walk that is like the safety of, that I'm worried about the safety of kids adults can manage and the third thing is that before uh, when the there was no highway people used to take this street and shops like that one the shop over there and the other one and also the rest of the shops and the cafenios and the bakeries here and, uh, they could sell some stuff and they could uh, live out of it it's not like they cannot live out of it now but it was good for them and now that the main road is open again i see like the economy of some people those who are dependent on shops next to the street can be affected okay other than that uh, this place is like uh, not on the sea level uh, it is up it rains a lot here and uh, from here you can go to uh, like different various nice little villages which is located around Agia Varvara and Agia Varvara is like the kind of a small little center of the villages and the people from those villages are coming to buy stuff from here
so this one is a hotel here from here you really cannot see the view but actually if you go a little bit out of the village video <laughs> 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 Εγώ από το YouTube είμαι. Α, ωραία, έτσι, ε. Ναι. Τώρα αυτό το βίντεο ανεβάζω να δει οι άνθρωποι ότι υπάρχει αυτό το χωριό. Ήταν να μιλήσω για το βίντεο από εκεί. Δεν είναι πραγματικά βίντεο από εκεί. Το βίντεο από εκεί. Είναι κάτι που βλέπουν το βίντεο ή το βίντεο. But if you would go a little bit out of the main street and a little bit out of the village, then uh, you will get to see very beautiful view of mountains and it's like breathtaking. I will try to show you that. So if you are somebody who is living or planning on living uh, in one of the close by villages or maybe actually in uh, Agia Varvara then uh, this is a good video for you we have a flower store here we have some uh, a store with like to to fix houses and this is the way to the village it is called Vernias it's a very beautiful village if you are uh, exploring this area I highly recommend to take this street and uh, go drive around you will get to see very beautiful things and this is the town hall Uh, I can say like if you would uh, stay here in an Airbnb or in a hotel room and explore the area and in the evening come out uh, walk around maybe go to a taverna or to a cafinillo in the morning drink your coffee even in the highest uh, tourist season you will get to meet locals uh, farmers, those who are like coming in the morning especially they are getting their coffee and getting ready to go to work and this is now these days are the days to harvest olives uh, you will also get to see lots of people in the morning with the 
machines going collecting olive yeah and you will get to feel like okay this part feels completely differently and this small little place has everything to offer like it has coffee shops it has like uh, clothes shops like this is a fix your clothes laundry shop yeah this place has everything to sustain uh, a life This is a beautiful one. I like the stonework. And if you are moving like uh, through this place and you just need cash, we have uh, several ATM machines that you can get some cash as well. Also, we have a small little bank branch here. Uh, it is the Pagriti Trapeza. I guess that's what it's called. And the other bank branch that we have long ago I noticed that this area this was like the Perios bank branch but now it's closed and we have a pharmacy as well And here we have a butcher shop with lots of Cretan products as well as fresh meat from the villages around mostly lamb or goat meat You can see over there the mountain, the clouds and if you would go just walk a little bit uh, you will get to see more of the nature. I hope I can show you that. Yeah, now I can show you.
one thing I need to mention it's not like the whole village is uh, located just uh, next to the street no there are houses uh, way far from the street this is just the part that it is around the street and this is kind of the marketplace but there are houses further from the street <laughs> And pretty old houses. Look at this one. Seems like it's been ages. In the left side we had a few supermarkets but if you go a little bit further like uh, hundreds hundred steps from here there is a very nice bakery it's pretty old and you gotta try sometime like Hortopita Tiropita or bread from this bakery this is a family business they have been doing it like from ages i guess i last time i i read that it was written there from which time it was it's this one over here from 1985 yeah so this bakery right here is uh, a pretty old bakery and the quality of the things that they bake is really good and also if you would take this street uh, it's gonna take you to uh, Zaros, to Kerkere or Gercere in Cretan uh, Greek language which is in itself a beauty to explore so this was it for Agia Varvara I hope you learned about this place I hope you have something new to add it to your list of visiting places in Crete or you are at least educated about a new place and you are having a good time and if so then hit the like button and share your thoughts recommendations in the comment section and uh, if you are already having a good time consider subscribing uh, and if you want to support the channel support me uh, i will leave the patreon account link and the paypal account link in the description other than that until the next time peace <laughs>